Hello guys, it is your boy RFO here. We are back with Azure Dreams Part 2. So, <clears throat> a lot of talking happened first episode. You really couldn't hear me because the volume was too high. So I turned it down just a little bit. And uh, when I do this, it makes the it makes my audio frame and my VS um, kind of sync. So kind of it, it, it tunes in and out. So it's loud one second, then it's, it's not, and then it's loud one second. I don't know why it does that. But already off the bat, these are portals. Don't want to step on it yet because I want to explore a little bit of this map before I do so. So uh, over here we have a sleeping. Okay, woke up. We have a sleeping catawump. So I don't. I only need to defeat two wumps right now, and I should gain a level. So that's my main goal, and uh, to find a little bit of items. Here's the second wump. There you go. Now kill is level 2, we should take at least 3 or 4 more, most likely 3 more to get to level 3. Okay, so this map is not very big. Um, I don't think there are any items on this map at all, but uh, we got catawumps. So we got those guys. So weapons have unlimited uses, but... Um, um, one one item. Well, oh, fuck. How do I explain this? Oh, here's some items. Weapons have unlimited use, but items, bes other besides weapons, have and like um, I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to try my hardest. We got an egg and a penny. <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little bit sick. Sorry. Um. So wind gem that has one use. These are one egg. One egg. Um, this is flame orb. It has one use. I'm pretty sure. Better bite seed. I only have one of those. It's only weapons and things that have like uh, numbers on them are the ones that have a certain amount of uses. If it's by itself, it has one use. Enough explaining. We just gained another level. Level three. Four more wumps now. Cooney's now level two. That's great. I always kill my enemies before he has a chance to go um, all wompy and shit on me. Doing a lot of damage. Alright, I'm gonna switch up the farm here. There you go. Like, could he be aggressive? Get his own levels. Alright, I guess we're done with this map. Let's go ahead and go back up top and uh, go on to the second, third, third floor. Yeah, go ahead and get him, Cooney. That's right. Fuck this shit. <laughs> yes, indeed I am. All the way up. This is pretty much a cutscene for most um, floors. Not not all of them, but some do have cutscenes. Um, they're all programmed though, so it's not random cutscenes. Um, Yes, I am. My name is Marzen. And how is that wonderful? The Conjurer. Is that so? Can you tell me where he is then? Like, I don't have time. Yeah, it does. Especially when your dad leaves you. And everybody's looking for him. How old are you exactly? My name is Keo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Um, what a weirdo. He's probably like fucking Jack the Ripper and shit and don't even know it. <laughs> Enough of that shit. There's another teleport, so I don't really want to go down that area because... They don't put items too close to teleports in this game.
Alrighty, so this is the other battle screen. So when I'm up against uh, the affinity boat, I don't know how it works. But since I'm fire and I'm attacking wind, I'm the one taking um, less less attack damage. I don't know how that works. It's kind of an on and off thing. I'm guessing it only works when I run out of magic. So for my staff, my crook here. All right, now we got a Bronzito. These are do a lot more damage. Boom. Same amount, but now it should do some more damage. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's see what we got here. We got a hammer. No way. Can't equip the hammer, you suck. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, there's an item back there. Yeah, Cooney, go 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 ahead. Alright, so he gains less experience when he when he's not near you. Um because he's kinda of doing his own thing, so he's earning his own XP, but it's not a good way to benefit. Compared to when you're together, now you guys share the experience alone, he doesn't take as much compared to as much as I take. So, you're sharing less half HP, whatever. Oh, here he is. Speaking of the devil, he came back. Larseed. Let's give that Larseed to. Whoops. I didn't mean to eat it. God damn it. So you can't do herbs. You have to give the white seeds to your guy over here. I meant to give it to him. Can't eat it. Alright, there you go. Uh, let's go up here. Never check this side. Oh, we invoked a red shot. Not bad. He a different affinity of his too. I'll take this. Alrighty, let's head back up to that teleporter because I think I've seen all of this. Forest floors always have a lot of items on it. Always. I'm telling you, they always do. I'm fetching a pretty penny up here. I'll tell you that much. Where's that teleporter at? I'll just check my map in a bit. always good to check your map you don't have to do it consistently but make sure that you make it a habit of checking your map in and out of floors because sometimes you might find some of the weirdest things that you just missed because you weren't paying attention like I found like this bronzino that was like plus three one time god damn um, and that shit was overpowered all the way up huh Wait, we're at the top, right? Yeah, it's the map works like that. All right, so all we gotta do is just go all the way down here. Get wrecked, Catawamp. Okay, so 15, 16, right, all right, and then, bam, almost wrecked him. Get him, Cooney, or not. Get wrecked, not really. I guess those are just random. They just happen randomly. I don't really think it has anything to do with any type of affinity. It just happens randomly. I don't know how that works. It would make sense in having this to all the dungeon brawler and stuff like that. And it uh, makes sense to switch it up with that 
Yeah, I, I, I get it. Oh, shit. Fuck, where the fuck is the, the damn teleporter? When earthquakes happen and stuff like that, you want to make sure you get out of here as fast as possible because you can drop down to the next floor. Oh, here it is. Ow. I'll leave that item just to make it through. You don't want to play around with the earthquakes, especially. Level 5. You should gain a level each um, each floor. That should be the goal. Don't, don't go on to the next floor unless you gain a level. So you should be equivalent. So when you're on level 40, you are level 40. It makes it good to keep up with the game. That's the best tactic I can tell you. Another one of these barn ass weirdos. His name is Skell. How does everybody know me as Guy's Kid? Because I got red hair. Yeah, so what if I am? Huh. So I'm the only guy in this whole entire fucking game with red hair. Besides my dad. That is creepy. Well, in that case, you should just uh, link up with me, but don't steal from me. No, I was about to say. A disadvantage, I could take your ass. Fuck me. I got a Catawomp, bitch. <laughs> or I got a, a Bronzino. Well, that guy's a dick. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you led me into a trap. That was... That was... That was very dickish of you. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit, you bastard was thinking about stealing from me. You paralyzed me. Get wrecked. Fucking Octo Rocks here. Go ahead, Cooney. I need your support. Boom. <clears throat> I should switch him from aggressive back to um, magical um, damage for the back. That is a new plan. Alrighty. Cooney, stop moving. A big feet. Big deep nose. Um, let's go. These guys usually just take one damage though, that's the whole point. We got some new enemies over here. We got a Sunmaker. Alright. So on this floor we've encountered Sunmakers and Octos. The Tame Bell. We know where that's at. I mean, we know where the teleport is at. We got the Big Vit. Alright. Check over here, see what we got. You don't have unlimited, um, inventory space so you do want to pick up wisely at towards the mid game but um, in the early stages you just experiment a little bit make sure to get everything because uh, it's kind of gonna kind of gonna help you get through the first few paces of the stage because after that it gets the game gets harder it's pretty hard it's not it's not exactly the easiest game but it's not the hardest it's just it does get harder yeah let's go ahead and go on Take this to the floor four. Floor five, I mean. Alrighty. So this is gonna happen for a while. It'll stop eventually. You're just meeting all these other hunters, like I said in the first episode, there are gonna be different hunters in the tower as well. You're just meeting them. How old are you? I will bang you. Yeah, I'm no little boy. Good guy, so who? Hmm. Takes me back. Uh oh. Takes me back where? To that bedroom? Chill. She's pretty cute. I like how they do the animations in this game. They are they are pretty good looking. I left my sword alone. Oh, is that right? Sword master and shit. 
Good to meet you too, I guess. I don't fucking know who you are. You know my dad though, so we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> Alright. This crook. I'm gonna give this to you, of course, Cooney. Yeah, we don't need that. So that's enough for two more spaces. Oh. I hate this place right here. Full of bullshit. Oh, you paralyzed me. Get him, Cooney. Ow. Oh, I missed the attack. Ow. Let's play it safe here. What are you doing, Cooney? You're supposed to be helping me. Fucking terrible. That's what you get, bitch. Are you done yet? Move. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Alright, I'll kill this guy. I had to offer, huh? I guess we have to go over here. Check this out. Alright. So we got a gem and we got a seed over here. A wind seed. Alright, that's wind damage. Um, well, it works better on a wind monster, I think. Like a wind affinity. Alright, a fort seed. A fort seed or a fort seed? A fort seed. Alright. Huh. How do you get over there? That's my question. Doesn't seem like there's really anything connecting the two that I know of. Yeah, so. Oh, alright. Let's check our map here. Huh. Jack shit clues about this game. And, uh. What kind of thing is that? Alright, uh, well. This has been fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we need to turn back around here. And obviously, that's a pathway. It didn't look like one of the value was cut off to me, but. Apparently, it is a pathway that goes all the way around. The chin ooh, I hate these guys. These guys can take you down a level, so watch out for them. Kill them immediately. Those guys are annoying as fuck. They will drop you a level. There's a few enemies in this game that will do that. You should get a level, there you go. They're very weak, but their ability makes them all the more dangerous. Both of our names start with the K, that's kind of confusing. K with this break. Alrighty, so we've ascended a few levels. Probably twice as many levels as before, a little more than that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Part 2 of Azure Dreams, when we come back with part 3, we're going to explore some more of this build. I'm going to be doing some um, weapon, yeah, so I need to do some inventory swapping and figure out what I want, what I don't want, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll continue more of this um, adventure. Um, we'll probably do like 5 or 6 episodes of this game, so um, yeah, this is part 2, when we come back with part 3, uh, we're going to do exactly what I just said. But anyways, fans, till next time, Bye bye <laughs>